Hey guys, Orange Shoes here. Today we're going to look at a command block creation. Now I know I said I was kind of done with command blocks, but uh, it turns out they're kind of cool. So yeah, I decided to make something that I think a lot of you would probably like. It's heat seeking arrows. Uh, these are, I don't know, uh, these are kind of useful <laughs> um, if you're doing like a mini game or something. And they're also really cool to look at. Uh, you could probably use them in PvP as well, um, but I don't really have it set up that way. So basically, well, what does this do? Well, I'm going to spawn a ton of Ravagers over here, right here. And as you can see, there's a, a decent number of them. Um, but we're going to attempt to end that. I'm going to run this command. And as you can see, all these arrows are slowly targeting and decimating the ravagers so i think that's pretty cool um and yeah it's really satisfying to look at as they target the closest one and systematically kill all of them um yeah so that's that's pretty cool let me get into the command um while i let this run over here while they're all dying it'll it'll be pretty quick <clears throat> so this is actually really easy if you didn't know um there's a command the teleport command has something unique with it. If I do teleport and then my username and then I do uh, I teleport to the same place and then facing um, and then entity, then I can face a certain entity. Um, I'll do, I guess I'll just do player or something. And then you have to set the limit equal to one. Uh, yeah, that that's not a very good example, hold on. Let me summon a bat. And then if I run this again, but instead set this to bat, then I'll always look at the bat. And so this is really useful. We're gonna use this in just a second. Um, so let's look at the command blocks. Basically, we're going to, um, we're actually here, we're summoning all these arrows and they have a custom tag called seek. Um, I did this so that um, if you shoot a bow, um, then the arrow won't seek. Only ones that you summon or with the tag seek will actually seek. Uh, of course you can change that. It's really easy. You just remove the tag. But we're going to execute um, as a seek and at the seek and then we're going to teleport it and then we're going to have it face the ravager um, and we're, we're going to have it face the eyes. You put that at the end of facing. You can do feet if you want but uh, I don't know there's like I, I don't know when I would like choose feet or whatever but yeah <clears throat> oh in case you didn't know um, I'm not using tildes I'm using I, I whatever these things <laughs> are ex exponent function stuff or whatever okay so basically instead of um, teleporting you on like some coordinate grid it will teleport you relative to where you're looking. So if I'm looking here, then I can teleport myself five blocks towards where I'm looking. And so I can do this up. I can even do this down if I wanted to, but then I'll go into the ground. Um, I believe this is left and right. So this will teleport me to the left. And then if I make this negative to the right, <coughs> uh, this is up and then negative is down. So yeah, that's really useful. So I'm just teleporting or teleporting the arrow. Um, I'm teleporting it forward. So the arrow goes forward while it's facing the Ravager. So it constantly face the Ravager. This is actually all you really need. Um, the other stuff here I have for damage and killing the arrow. So next up we have, uh, it executes the same thing as a seek and at a seek. And if there's a Ravager within um, a distance of two blocks, uh, this is what dot dot two, it means um, less than or equal to two, then it will run summon Minecraft potion and then a damaging potion. Um, there's that. And then um, I'll do this, but let's see. Yeah, and then it, this will kill the arrow. This will kill the arrow if it's within a Ravager so that, uh, it doesn't constantly like survive and then seek others or else there'd be tons of arrows 
And then basically what this does is if there's no Ravager in the area, then it will kill all the targets. So if I run this, no arrows will target anything because there are no Ravagers until I spawn some in and then boom, they're all getting targeted. Again, here it is. It's really cool. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, this just spawns the Ravagers. You just, uh, these just spawn the arrows. Um, and yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, so this is really easy to make. I will have the commands uh, in the description as always. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. See you later.